started off in, I want to say, 2008, being able to model hydraulically fractured um, wells and, and horizontal wells. And, and over the past, um, I guess that would be nine years, we've added additional functionality to, to support the workflows that, um, that all of our customers in the U.S. and in North America, where our hydraulic fracture is, is the big focus. We've added all kinds of additional functionality as they said, well, we'd like to do this, or we're interested really in doing this, or... Personally, I, I've been involved in unconventional modeling, and I, I think that's one of the first, at least what I'm concerned. I think that um, it's been generally acknowledged that the way we're doing uh, unconventional modeling is an accurate and feasible way to model large reservoirs. Um, an additional feature that we added just within the last few years was actually prompted by a client of ours. Um, they approached us and said they were using a tool to model their hydraulic fractures explicitly to analyze their completion design and they wanted to use this information directly in their reservoir simulation model. Um, so they asked us if there was a way to bring that data into the CMG model um, and we said no, but not yet. So then we started working with that specific software that they were using. We collaborated with them to help create a system where we can exchange information from a hydraulic fracture simulator and bring the information into your reservoir simulation model. Um, so from, from the beginning of the project, I think it only took a few months before we developed a file format to exchange the data. Um, and then from there, the last couple years, we've spent adding functionality um, to where you can bring in the data several different ways, um, but all using this, this file format to exchange the data between the two softwares. They, they've come, the customers have come to us and asked for, uh, we'd like to model right from the, the frack job to the, the flow back of the, the water and, the, and the, the fracking fluids and into the production phase and, and model that all as one simulation. And so we've been working on, on additional um, uh, research and development initiatives to support that sort of modeling um, for those customers. And, and they'll get a ton of value out of that. And, and even, even some of the fracture templates and other things that we've added to make it easier and as people fracture the, their reservoirs more and with tighter spacing and denser spacing, we've added um, additional functionality to be able to do that easily and quickly and, and, and to the point that, that people are saying, um, have, you, have you CMG'd your, your well yet? And, and so we've turned into a verb, which I think is, is great. We have collaborated with uh, most of the leading uh, operators uh, that are active in the unconventional reservoirs and have created a very, very advanced and really easy to use workflow for modeling uh, unconventional reservoirs, whether it comes to uh, fracture initiation, fracture creation, um, whether it comes to uh, field development planning, hydraulic fracture spacing uh, design. And I've come up with a really, very efficient and easy workflow so that these companies can actually design their field development plan for hydraulic fractures and come up with a more robust uh, uh, forecast for their field.